Hey, what's up everybody? Lovely greetings from Montenegro. My name is Adi, a mobile record producer and mixing engineer. And we got the new package from Lewitt. Ah, here we go. So Lewitt was so kind to send this package to Slovenia and I'm very excited to show you what's inside. We'll make a short review, like an unboxing video and the short review how those microphones will sound on our acoustic guitar in different and common places. Can't wait, 5kg, well packed. And here a big shout out to Lewitt because they managed already to bring us a package to Morocco. It took a while, but they were on it and they did an excellent job here. And a big shout out to Juan Hewitt from Produce Like a Pro um, for connecting us with Lewitt. We actually just came back from Vienna to visit the lovely team there, the lovely crew. And one more time, thank you for this wonderful time. We had an incredible time, went to gigs together and um, recorded one song in their, in their studio. I've been here before If you want to learn more how to use the microphones and how to take care of them and so on, what Lewitt can do for you, check out their YouTube channel. They have excellent content there. So enough of the talking. Let's see what's inside. Maybe that paper later for the bonfire. And in the big package are two small packages. Oops. Yellow. Wow, and what we got here, wow, it's the LCT 540 and check out this box. I have the studio in my camping car, in my camping van and sometimes we drive crazy roads, like to come up here to the Pachamama camping in Montenegro. We have to go the crazy serpentines and the crazy roads. <laughs> I don't know how they are called in English, you know, like the... Instead of a U-turn, you make a V-turn. And um, I see that these mics will survive our journey. We're actually on the way to Georgia and Armenia. So there is a lot of crazy road in front of us. Let's have a look inside. This is so cool. As always, you have the user interface and the guide and your warranty statement. A wonderful bag. I got all my Lewitt mics in these bags with me. And um, really good quality. What a beauty. The HTT 540 is a noiseless mic, means it don't have any self noise. We will test it later in the camper van with my um, less than optimum electrical system there. But um, when we went to Lewitt, we tested the Flex 441, which is an incredible microphone. And we used two of them as room mics for the guitars. And um, I was just fascinated and I can't wait to use them finally. As always, Lewitt products are they're just solid and they look cool. What I like on this is they don't try to imitate any other microphones. They just move on with new features, new designs and incredible sound. Incredible sound. I can't wait to test it. What else we got here is uh, the magnetic pop filter. Goes just to this mic holder, what is also incredible. So it goes like this front and then you just put this up here and you are done. Um, I got two pop filters with me in the car. They get dirty, they break, especially the cheaper ones, you know, they just fall down when somebody wants to sing. And this is for me the best solution, especially in the mobile record studio where I have to move the stuff all the time. We make temporary studios, so I'm just 
going into a house, set up all the stuff, record for one day, put it back, put it back into the car and stuff can break, but not this. <laughs> so, wow, this is so amazing. Yep. Let's put this one back and of course we have a windshield but well, it's also really cool because we are recording sometimes outside and you get a lot of wind and those windshields are really good quality and they look cool. What else do we want? In the second package we have exactly the same mic so we got a stereo pair of them and where I want to use them is either on acoustic guitars, a stereo room mics and I will try them also as soon as I have the chance on a drum kit as overheads. Let's see how they will sound if I get the full kit, the full sounding kit. Usually when I use overheads, I use them to get the cymbal sound, but I'm very curious to try them out. I've been here before. So now we are looking into the features of the 540. So at first we have a solid box here. Your microphone is super safe. In the big box we have, um, yeah at first let's take out the microphone. Ah, what a beauty. So here we have a small PC. We will plug it into 48 volt phantom power so you can see all the features. And we are in my camper van and today we will make the test with my battery that is charged by solar power, solar energy. We have a converter from 12 volt that pushed the electricity up to 240 volt. So I can use my audio interface. We take this one, it's my portable one. So it's plugged in here. I turn on the 48 volt phantom power. And you will see the small computers lightening up here. And what we got here, we have three buttons. And with the buttons, I can choose either a low cut by 80 hertz or 160 hertz, or no low cut. This is the lean option. And then we have the attenuation, volume attenuation in the microphone built in. Let's say you use this microphone on drums it can get a little bit hot, so the signal can be too hot when it's coming in already. And to avoid this, you can just press the right button. And now you're recording by minus 6 dB lower or minus 12 dB lower. This is a super helpful feature. So how is this working? When the microphone is illuminated white, you are in the standard operation. And when you are getting too loud, a too hot signal, this display will start to flash with a red light and this means that clipping occurs and this is really really helpful it means when you're setting up your drums for example you're, you're micing a drum kit when you are setting it up you can just have a look on the mics and see already how hot the signal is when it's too hot press the right button and you have minus 6 dB attenuation and the signal should be fine and then we have the push button functions the first one is the key lock function. So when I hold the center button for more than two seconds, I will activate the key lock mode and all push buttons are locked until I press any button for two seconds again. Let's have a lo look here. One, two. And you see the middle light stopped running and now whatever I do, I can't change the settings. This is really helpful. Let's say you have to move the microphone somewhere else and by accident you are pressing a button, you will change the uh, settings. And this is not what you want. And then when I hold any button two seconds again, the light is back, all the functions are available again. Very helpful. So the next feature is the clipping history. And the clipping history is very helpful. Let's say you are setting up the mics to for, for this drum kit and you want to know if the level is good. Either you are sitting there in front of the mics and in front of the kit and look if any clipping occurs, if this microphone gets red, or you're just recording and check later the clipping history. The clipping history will show you if any clipping occurred during this time. And you can access it by pressing the left button for two seconds. And when it's 
flashing white and green means there was no clipping. When it's flashing white and red means clipping occurred. So you know you can just attenuate it again. Let's have a look here. Perfect. No clipping occurred during this time when the mic was on. So it's flashing green and white. Again, pressing the same button for two seconds and I'm back in normal operation mode. Now we have something that's called automatic attenuation and I can access this feature by pressing the right button two seconds and now we just have the red light and now, as the feature says, it's attenuating the level automatically. Uh, Lewitt does not recommend to use this feature while recording because it's audible. So this feature is intended to be used for recording test runs only and to set all mics to the correct attenuation. One more time, it's not recommended to be used during the actual recordings. Um, you can deactivate this feature again when pressing the right button. Yo, what's up? I'm very excited. We jump now into the testing phase and record in three different environments. Um, if you have any questions regarding the features, regarding the sound, regarding the way how I recorded it, please feel free to leave a comment down in the section. I'm more than happy to help you with this. And um, let me know how you like the sound. Also, make sure to download the multi-tracks, the raw multi-tracks um, on my webpage is hittheroadmusicstudio.com. There will be a link down in the description directly to the blog post and you can listen the tracks on your own. Very excited. Now we jump right into the testing phase. I've been here before. So we are using now one of these mobile recording devices to record this beautiful guitar. Um, this is a Tascam, it has a bit in phantom power, which is really helpful. So I just go XLR in, I will have a stereo track here. And I'm very curious about the sound because the preamps can't be, they are not the best, you know, they are not the, the studio quality. But anyway, I want to hear what it can bring out of the guitar with this killer microphone. So let's have a listen here. And here I have a lot of bass, but I'm missing a little bit of the definition um, from the high end. It's because of the mic position. So we will put it a little bit more down. What I'm doing is I'm facing it a little bit off axis from the hole, pointing more towards the uh, 12th string. So let's have a listen again. captures a really good sound here. Let's check again some other riffs.
That's it. Let's check this microphone in some other unusual environments. I've been here before. Out of the box, incredible sound. Well, I really like this uh, natural sound. <laughs> it's just one microphone and um, it sounds incredible. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, any concerns, um, any comments to it, even if you just like it, please leave a comment down there. Um, I'm more than happy to answer you. And 
feel free to check out 75 music videos that we recorded all around the world, including live shows and everything. Uh, you will find a lot of incredible music from Morocco that we recorded in unusual environments. Uh, make sure to check out my mixing tutorials on Promix Academy, as well as on the Produce Like a Pro Academy. There you find exclusive mixing tutorials. And um, yeah, if you have any questions for anything, we are here to help you to build a beautiful music producer community. Sharing is caring. Stay tuned for more and have a wonderful day.